it makes a lot of sense to me that you would have a lot of vegetation that would, if if we have you know logs floating in in Spirit Lake still, you would have a lot of logs floating in the ocean, a lot of vegetation and debris floating in the ocean after the flood. Those debris mats that come close to the land, that's going to be where plant recovery is going to start. So that makes sense to me. That's going to draw in the herbivores, which are going to draw in the carnivores, who actually have a mechanism to make it even more probable that something could end up actually, you know, on one of these mats when a storm comes along and blows part of it out to sea and maybe sends them all the way across an ocean. Um, so the sweepstakes route of the evolutionist actually becomes, I think, even more probable under, you know, just a basic, simple assumption about what the oceans might have been like uh, after the flood.